on Florida 24 Network. As the number of people vaccinated in our state continues to grow, there's one group of Floridians who work on the front lines of this pandemic, but who have also remained among the most hesitant to get the shot. They are employees who work with our elderly and disabled in long-term care. This evening, I share the stories of how two facilities have overcome this vaccine reluctancy for near perfect vaccine rates. Inside this Florida assisted living facility, normal is finally sounding normal again. It's been a long time. March 13th, 2020 at 2.45 p.m. Executive Director Christopher Kmet recalls the minute COVID-19 forced his center shut. It was... Locking down the more than 60 residents who call this Hillsborough County facility home. It was a brutal day to tell those family members, to tell those residents, to tell those staff that here is a virus that nobody knows anything about. You want to play the piano? You can, yeah. By this time last year, the center reported several COVID positive residents. None had symptoms, but they were preparing for a COVID wing and an unknown future. Sorry. This year, the vaccine and with it, hope. Hope for whatever it is that makes you happy at the end of the day. Yeah. Today, nearly 100% of residents here are fully vaccinated, and all but three of its 35 member staff. 90.5% vaccination rate. That's not typical. No. Since the COVID-19 vaccine became available, long-term care facilities have struggled to get staff to roll up their sleeves. In fact, even to this day, less than half of employees in Florida nursing homes and assisted living facilities are vaccinated. Ongoing education, one on one meetings and group sessions with doctors, even religious leaders have helped this facility get hesitant staff on board. You can't treat misinformation if you don't know what the issue is. Having the vaccine is the most responsible thing to do, I believe. In Broward County, Odalis Cordero owns and operates six small group homes for children and adults with special needs. Out of its 50 residents and staff, Cordero tells us all but two children are vaccinated. We were ready, Katie. Ongoing education and lots of encouragement have been her secret to getting both staff. We have to live by a sample. And residents vaccinated. This woman lost her mom to COVID and wasn't able to say goodbye. Very sad. With such high vaccination rates, these facilities are now back to hosting activities, social hours, full dining rooms, and neither have reported any new COVID cases. Since vaccination started, we have had none. But in an industry plagued by high staff turnover, both operators know keeping high vaccine rates could be a challenge. I believe it should be mandatory. Do you consider your facility a success story? Oh, absolutely. At this facility, potential new employees are told up front. These are our vaccination rates. We would like to see you on board with these vaccination rates. Because there's nothing better than witnessing back to normal make everyone so happy. Katie Legrone, Florida 24 Network.